بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد الله يسكب تسلوشن في انتاج يومينتي تل دي أف قيام إنيز دين Unfortunately when Yaqeen is weak then if science or the medical field says you need to use sanitizers then the shelves will be empty for months and there'll be a demand and factories will spring up but what Allah and His Rasul have said, there is no effort in that direction because the words of the people of Batil has more an impact on the hearts than what Allah and His Rasul have said. If we really believed it, then for example, the miswak over 40 times in a day, Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam used to use it. How many times in a day am I using a miswak? So it all boils down to Yaqeen for cure, for remedies, hydrochloroquine. The shelves were empty, they sold out. Why it's a Shifa? What Allah and His Rasul have promised as a Shifa, are the shelves sold out? Is there a demand? So we need to check ourselves all the time. Amongst the encouraged Chapters of Tib is Malk. وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَنْعَامِ لَعِبْرَةِ There is a lesson for you. In the cattle, نُسْقِيكُمْ مِمَّا فِي بُطُونِهِ مِنْ بَيْنِ فَرْثٍ وَدَمٍ لَبَنًا خَالِصًا That Allah SWT gives us a drink from what is in the bellies of these animals from between excreta and blood لَبَنًا خَالِصًا سَائِغًا لِلشَّارِبِينَ It is pure milk palatable to those who drink it. Even in Jannah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has spoken about وَأَنْهَارٌ مِّنْ لَبَنْ So streams of milk when we Drink milk. وَإِذَا سُقِيَ لَبَنًا فَلْيَقُولْ أَلَّهُمَّ بَارِكْ لَنَا فِيهِ وَزِدْنَا مِنْ Did Allah give us baraka and increase? فَإِنَّهُ لَيْسَ شَيْءٌ يُجْزِئُ مِنَ الطَّعَامِ وَالشَّرَابِ إِلَى اللَّبَنْ There is nothing more sufficient, more satiating from amongst the foods than drinking milk. عَلَيْكُمْ بِأَلْبَانِ الْبَقَرِ That holds steadfast onto the milk of cows فَإِنَّهَا دَوَاء Because in it, it is a remedy was مَا نُهَا And holds steadfast to the butter, the ghee in the olden days. Ghee used to be made. And if you find the olden day people also, they in the 80s they still working and walking. And the eight years and eighteen years old can't even lift a spoon. فَإِنَّهَا شِفَاء Because there is cure in this year. وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَلُحُومَهَا And be careful of the meat of cattle. For there is sickness in it. So, some Hakims also advise, so normally we should be having farm milk, not the milk which we buy on our shelves because most of the nutrition and nutrients have been removed. Then from the farm milk, ideally we want cattle that are grazing, natural, natural, organic. And then some Hakim's advice to drink the milk as is not even to pasteurize it. Allahu alam bis sawab. So Nabi alayhi salam amongst his favorite drinks was milk. So we should have it as part of our daily routine to consume milk. There was a story of somebody who had some issues and some sickness and Nabi alayhi salam was there and he said, Albanuha shifa. وَسَمَنُهَا دَوَاءً So in its milk, it in the ghee, in the butter, there is shifa and cure. 
three things among the three things you should never refuse. One of them, rewrite of their music, is milk as well. So scientists have said that milk contains most of the ingredients. That's why a baby that's born in mother's milk, we should never ever wean the child off too early. But till the last, try to keep the children on mother's milk. So you say it contains most of the elements which the human body needs from sugars, fats, minerals, iron, sodium, vitamin A, B, C, E, uh, etc. Then the fat in the milk is, is a form of nutrition, the protein which, which is necessary for the body, the minerals, sodium, calcium, magnesium, potassium, the vitamins A, B, B2, B12, C, D, E, then the starches which are in the milk as well. So it is a na'ma and bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us grace from the bounties of Allah. Then talbina. So talbina as well is made of barley flour or barley bran. And we can add as well honey and milk to the talbina. There's different ways of making it. But uh, in the riwayat, it cleanses the stomach. It, how you remove dirt from a person's face with water, it cleans the stomach. And it's a means of consola consolation for a grieving person, for a person who is in, in distress. Ni'am al idam al. So, talbina. Al talbina mujamma. لِفُعَادِ الْمَرِيضِ تَذْهَبُ بِبَعْدِ الْهُزْنِ So this talbina is a consolation for the sick hearts and it removes the griefs of the heart. So it brings comfort, it softens the grief. Imam Nawi Rahmatullah says that مَجَمَّ in Arabic or مُجَمَّ تُرِيهُ فُعَادَهُ Thus is, it means that it brings consolation and solace to the heart. وَتُزِيلُ أَنْهُ الْهَمْ And it removes all grief and difficulties. Among the benefits of Talbina, it removes grief, worry, stress, freshens a person, revitalizes, it, it neutralizes all the toxins, it's nutritious for the body, it helps in digestion, it expels phlegm, it's a remedy for restlessness in sleep, a person who has insomnia, low cholesterol, heart issues. It uh, delays old age, it prevents Parkinson's, beneficial for cancer, softens and calms the colon, helps against diarrhea, beneficial for typhoid, strengthens the immune system. And uh, it un does damages from carcinogens, x-rays, etc. It stimulates flowing in the arteries, veins, heart, lungs, intestines, womb. Very beneficial for the liver, gallbladder. It uh, builds cells, prevents hair loss, protects the thyroid glands. There's a high percentage of folic acid and it protects from fetal abnormalities. Then amongst the is vinegar. So different riwayat where even a Sahaba came to visit Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam and uh, when they found out that Nabi alayhi salam preferred it from a zil to I continued to love vinegar when I heard Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam say in the Rawi also so Sahaba, when Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam loved something automatically, they fell in love. Hal indaka shay'un faqultu la umihani. Nabi alayhi salam asked, is there anything to eat? She said no. So Nabi alayhi salam said that no house where there is honey, poverty will come to that house. نِعْمَ الْإِدَامُ الْخَلْ أَلَّهُمَّ بَارِكْ فِي الْخَلْ فَإِنَّهُ كَانَ إِدَامَ الْأَنْبِيَا قَبْلِ This was the codiment for the Anbiya of the past. So, Anbiya Ali Musta'la to Assalam, 
it was a, a habit in the routine in, in, in the lives of Anbiya alayhi salatu wassalam to have vinegar and to consume vinegar. So when they say condiment, it's more like a, a curry, like a, a, a spice, something that will, even if you eat it with bread, plain, like if you see the Arabs, they take, um, whether it's vinegar, they take different ingredients and they eat the hooves raw, just like that. So it is very beneficial also. So the ulama have explained that in those days, firstly, al Khattabi has said that the fact that they were so simple is a sign al iqtasad fil ma'kal that when we eat in, we need to have moderation. And man in nafs and to prevent the snuffs from gluttony and overeating and not feeding his nafs and the di desires. And then they say in that era, the fact that Sahaba radiallahu an common and prevalent was grapes and kajur. And uh, muhaddithin have given Dalail, firstly grapes were co common as we see the banning of alcohol, substance, grapes were available, there's a great chance that the vinegar of that time was made of grapes or kajur dates. Then secondly is apples were not prevalent in those days as well, although you can make vinegar out of apple as well. And thirdly, in the fuqaha, the kitabs, they've mentioned khal al-inab wa tamr so that also, that the fact that all the Messiah revolved around that, then Zid Ali radiallahu anh used to make a rada khal inab from grapes, they made vinegar. Then Ibn Qutayba also has mentioned that if you want to make vinegar, akhadta min al inab ma badalak, take it from grapes. Azari, who is the Imam of Lughad, has said, الاختلال من الخل من عسير العنب والتمر so kajur and grapes even Alam al-Sarakhsi as mentioned كما أن العنب مع التمر جنسان so how dates and kajur uh, dates and grapes are a combination also Vinegar should be made from this. So the different dictionaries if we go. In today, modern times, there are 21 types of vinegars available commercially. Amongst the most harmful and which is normal routine found in our houses, we should try to abstain is distal, white or spurred vinegar. And uh, this vinegar is also used for cleaning, uh, for laboratories, for medicinal purposes. And because there's a high percentage of acidic content in it. That's why it's used as a household cleaning agent. So can you imagine we consuming this and, and according to the process because of acetic acid which is in it and water the combination and it ferments as 5 to 20 percent of this acid. And um, acetic acid is a main component of vinegar and it can cause irritation in the stomach it can damage the mucus in the intestinal tract, can cause ulcers, gastritis, vitamin deficiency, infection. So in the US, three of the most common dietary causes of gastritis with aspirin and alcohol is vinegar. So it interferes with the, the digestive system, um, the bloodstream, it uh, damages the stomach lining, it stimulates the thyroid gland to remove the phosphorus and depleted phosphorus will result in impaired function of your glands. Then the vinegar itself is harmful to the liver because it has to go through the liver and the kidneys. It harms the central nervous system. Then uh, weakness of the bone because 
weniger causes low potassium and when there's less potassium in the body the the density of the bone also decreases it uh, stimulates and contributes to candida overgrowth and likewise there are many many other harms as well so among the other vinegars which is fruit vinegars which they make from apple black currant raspberry quince tomato then coconut vinegar which is made from coconut water generally famous in asia then corn or maize vinegar so this is prone to uh, created from corn sugar then we have the vinegar made from sugarcane juice which is generally common in the philippines then grains in china the chinese black vinegar which they make from rice wheat millet sorghum and according to the hadith allah alam bis sawab but balsamic vinegar which is from Modena, Italy. And uh, generally the olden type, which is very dark. So the, the traditional balsamic vinegar, which is made from the concentrated extract of grapes. So whether, so to try to source the original one, it may be very expensive and costly, but it goes under the DOC or traditional balsamic vinegar protected designation of origin status and they'll tell you it's five years old 10 years old 15 years old 25 30 years old the 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 non-DOC which is the commercial form which you find nowadays on the shelves that's made from concentrated grape juice but it's mixed with other ingredients it's colored it's sweetened, they've added caramel, they've added sugar, etc. So, try to get the original. Then, amongst the Tibet Nabawi is Kras Alaikum, with Thufa, Fa inna Allah ja'ala fi shifa' min kulli da'a. Kras, Allah has made it a cure for all diseases. So, Nabi alayhi salam asked also, you have Kras present for you? And Allah SWT has put a healing in it for every disease. So like how the black seed is emphasized, a lot of people have overlooked Kras. The white of blood near Abbas, Nabi Alisim asked, what kind of healing is in the two better things, the Kras and aloe vera. Also it should be used to fumigate the house, uh, but we'll get into that shortly inshallah. Then um, Abdullah ibn Jafar rewired, of uh, fumigating your houses, duhni, with dried cress leaves, or mur, or thyme. And uh, fumigate your houses with luban, ashi, in the hadith, is referred to dried cress leaves. Maybe some other leaves as, as well. And uh, in the hadith as well, the word sa'atar, Thymus or thyme and duhni, then almur, the gum tree, luban. So that's for fumigation. Among the ingredients in cress is uh, dietary fibers, protein, vitamin A, beta carotene, vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, vitamin E, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. Very good for eye disease, reduces allergies, worms, cough, dysentery, scurvy, asthma, chronic cough, remove phlegm, reduces swelling, pain, bronchitis, bleeding, helps in piles, diabetes, leprosy, skin diseases, stops diarrhea, improves lung function like now COVID, la ilaha illallah, increases and reduces fever as well. And then amongst the other TV and the is alaykum bisana, fennel, wasanut, fainna fiha, Shifa min kulli da illa sam, except death is a cure. Ya Rasulullah, wa sam? What is sam? It is death. So, fennel, senna, aloe vera, all of these ingredients. And the benefits of senna is it's a, a, a laxative, it comforts the lungs, liver, spleen, it uh, removes fatigue, it revitalizes. It treats skin problems. It's uh, effective in treating inflammation, treating migraines for people who have fits, strengthens the heart muscles, takes away pain, beneficial for rashes, boils, itching. 
beneficial for gout, muscle joint cramps, prevents hair loss. Likewise, aloe vera, very beneficial, moisturizing of the skin, good for the eyes, treats inflammation, benefits, uh, sores, treats injuries, burns, rashes. It lowers the glucose level, good for piles, headaches, reduces bile, hair growth. And uh, many people now recently is using it for skin care as well. Alaikum. Bissana was sanud fa inna fi hima shifa min kulli da'a. Say cure for every sickness. Lo anna shi'an kana fi shifa min al maut la kana fi sana. There was a cure for anything, even death, then it would have been the sana. So these are from the advices of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of practicing on the swakhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.